In this video, I'm going to show you how to swipe to delete list items from a recycler view. So just like you see here on the screen, if I was to swipe this to the right, the list item is removed from the recycler view list. Now you probably notice that I have another app that's running over here that looks very similar. I'm not going to be showing you how to implement this behavior. I actually want to know if you want to learn this. So watch this demo here. If I click and hold on a list item, I can rearrange them. I can also still swipe to delete, but the main behavior here that I want to showcase is that if I hold down a click, I can rearrange these list items and place them anywhere I want. This kind of behavior is a lot more complex than just swiping to delete. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to swipe to delete. And then if you want to know how to rearrange list items like I'm doing over here in the demo, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on that. Now also you should know before watching this video that I expect you to know how to set up a recycler view, how to set up a recycler view adapter, and how to do all of the stuff kind of involved in just basically setting up a recycler view. If you don't know how to do that, you're going to want to watch my video on how to set up a recycler view. You can just go to my YouTube channel, so youtube.com, go to coding with Mitch, and I have a great video on how to set up a recycler view. So I'm clicking on my coding with Mitch channel. I'm going to go over to the search over here, just type recycler view, and that should bring you to that recycler view video right there. And that's going to show you everything you need to know to set up a recycler view. But if you already know all that, let's get started with this video. So in front of me, I have a project that is actually part of a free course on my website. I wanted to use this code because I don't want to go through all the process of setting up a recycle view, setting up an adapter, all that stuff. Because like I said, I already expect you to know how to do that. So if you are curious about where this code is coming from, it's from this free course on my website, my SQLite for Beginners 2019 course. Uh, I take you through all of kind of the fundamentals for building the application that you see on the screen that I showed you earlier, this application right here. So if you're a beginner and you don't know how to set up a recycle view, like I've said many times already, that's the course you're going to want to watch and you'll learn how to do that. But anyway, I've talked enough. Let's, uh, let's work on the content for this video and I'm going to show you how to implement that swipe to delete functionality. I'm going to go into notes list activity right here. And uh, this is the activity that hosts the recycle view that you see uh, that I showed you on the screen here. That's this activity right here. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the very bottom and I'm going to build a new object, uh, something called an item touch helper. So item touch helper, and I'm going to be using the simple callback class extension for this item touch helper. And I'm using the simple callback because uh, it's kind of the simplest possible implementation for an item touch helper. Now, when I showed you the other application demo, the one where I can rearrange list items, it doesn't make use of the simple callback. It actually makes use of just the callback. And there's a lot more things you can do with that. But like I said, I'm keeping things simple. I'm only showing you how to swipe to remove things. So we're going to be using the simple callback. I'm going to call this item touch item touch helper callback. It's going to equal new item touch helper simple callback. And you can see that it implements some methods there. So we got on move and on swiped. Obviously, we are interested in on swiped. We're not going to be moving any list items in this video. Uh, you also notice that it's showing me a, a warning here. It looks like I need to pass something as input. So the input that you need that the simple callback requires is some integers that define what kind of movement it wants to detect. So the first parameter, actually, I'm just going to pass zero because we're not going to be dragging the list items anywhere. Like I said, we're just going to be swiping. The second parameter is the swipe direction. So I can reference a constant. I'm going to go item touch helper, and I can reference a bunch of different constants here. So I have down, end, left, right, start, up. I want to be able to swipe to the right, so I'm going to type that uh, right constant. Now keep in mind, you could add more than one constant here. For example, if you wanted to be able to swipe to the right and also the left to remove the list items, I can concatenate this with another one of those constants. Whoops, item touch helper, and I could use the uh, left constant. I'll actually leave this in here just to demo and show you that uh, I'll be able to swipe to the left or to the right so that uh, you can see kind of a different, uh, diff some different implementations there. So now I'm gonna come down into the on swiped method and there's not much that we need to do. I need to remove the 
note object, which is the objects that are being displayed in the list, I need to remove that note object from the list of objects. And then I need to tell the adapter that I have removed a note object. So all I'm going to do is I have a, a list of notes that's currently inside of this activity. So I'm going to go notes.remove. And now I need to reference the note that I'm going to remove. So to do that, I need to reference the adapter that's, uh, that's being set to the recycle view, because inside the adapter, we have the view holder that's holding each individual view in the recycle view. And if you know how to set up a recycle view, you should know all this. So I'm not going to be explaining the view holder and kind of how all that works. So you can see I have access to the view holder inside the onswiped method. So I can just write view holder dot get adapter position, and that's going to get the position of the note object that we want to remove. And now I'm going to write note recycler adapter. So this is the recycler view adapter for this recycler view. And I'm going to notify that the data set has changed. So notify, uh, or I, c I guess I could uh, notify item removed, that would also work. But I'm just going to do notify data set changed, that would that's going to achieve the exact same goal. So I've removed a note from the list of notes, that's the list of notes that's being passed to the, the adapter. And then I'm telling the adapter that the data set has changed. And that's, uh, that's all we have to do for our item touch helper callback. Now I just need to come up and set this callback to my recycler view adapter. So I'm going to come up here, actually, I need to set it to the recycler view, not the adapter itself. So I just need to write new item touch helper, and I need to pass that item touch helper callback, and then do attach to recycler view and reference that recycler view. And that's all you need to do. It's actually very, very simple. Now I can run this and we can take a look and see what this behavior looks like. So here's the application running on the screen. Now notice that I can swipe to the left or I can swipe to the right. So swiping to the right, swiping to the left, and either way those list items are removed from the recycler view. So that's it for this video. Like I said, if you want to know how to do a more advanced implementation of what I just showed you, uh, like the demo that I'm going to show you here on the screen, I can show you how to rearrange list items, how to change the color when you highlight them. Uh, I can actually show you how to add headers uh, that are not able to be moved to if you want. So just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to make a video on that. And as I mentioned already earlier in the course, also if you're new to Android development and you don't know how to set up a recycle view, you don't know kind of all the fun, a lot of fundamental skills for um, becoming an Android developer, check out my free course on my website. It'll, all you have to do is create an account and then you just register. It's completely free so you can learn all of those kind of fundamental skills with this free course. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.